Hello guys, I'm Krolo and today I'm going to show you my 11th round of the Sunken Temple or the Temple of Atal Hakari is one and the same It's located in the Acer Kingdoms, in Swamp of Sorrows and right here you will basically need to get into this Sunken Temple uh, run down and go on a kind of straight corridor and you will get to this dungeon right here so I managed to finish 10 runs in rough, roughly about 30 minutes. You know, one run takes around 2 minutes and five and 50 seconds to 3 minutes or so, depending on how fast you move and how fast you decide to use your cheat torpedo if you're a monk. And I'm on a monk. Uh, the spec is the same. The turrets are the same. Cheat torpedo, statue, and rushing, gate wind. In 10 runs I got a looted item value of 8k, I don't think that's good, I never thought that this dungeon is good, but I seen, I've seen a lot of people doing it anyways, as you see a demon hunter just walked straight in when I, get, when I got here and I don't know why to be honest, but I mean like look at this mage too, he's running it, maybe he's running with a friend, who knows, but there are a couple of people getting inside, you know, uh, when I first started that two 110s were doing it maybe they are doing it for either a quest either because of the lunar revel which is right now the lunar festival for the coins of essence and ancestry plus the lucky red envelope I don't know but this dungeon isn't that good I'm going to show you my path anyway and my path is pretty simple you just get, basically get inside and kill everything so I'm going to use Bert Altar to move faster in the dungeon, you know it. And I'm using a monk, although you can use a rogue, a druid, whatever, a demon hunter, a warrior, I don't know. You see, I mean, level 110 just run inside like hell. But I'm not staying to see if they are coming back and went inside only for the coins of ancestry, I don't care. And I forgot to reset. Wait a second. Let's see. Okay, so we're inside, and as a monk, I basically pull, kill this snake right here using the bird altar, get these packs, and I missed my second cheat torpedo for the 90 or 60 percent movement speed increase, but doesn't matter. So now I want to kill this Hakari Sepper. No for the Bert Altar. Get here. Taunt this. And kill the next Hakari Sepper. I'll kill the next one and so on. I, I kill basically every other Hakari Sepper around here. I do not start a boss, you know the I forgot his name, the not that one. <laughs> Avatar of Hakar. I don't know why but the map is kind of fucked. And now when we're here I just taunt everything, so I went right like this and now I'll go like this here, so I have a straight line of movement. I'll put a statue around here so I can aggro both of the packs, and if you don't have the coins of ancestry yet taken from here, that there is a NPC that gives you the quest and the items plus a couple of achievements if you got enough coins. Uh, you'll basically see during this event the Lunar Rebel, which is uh, until 3 March. You'll see NPCs in dungeons, I don't think in raids too, but you will see a couple of them like this with a light shining on them. And just take them, talk to them, take their quest, and then uh, you'll get the coins. Plus, this Lucky Red Envelope, which contains, if I remember correctly, some sort of light bulb, you know, like they have that shining light is uh, consumable only once, but it's something extra. I know it's extra achievement points. So now we'll take everything in that room and go here. And we are not going to kill all these bosses right here, they are useless for us. Only if you don't have anything from their loot table in your collection already and you want to. Try your luck at getting a sword or something, but other than that, no. So we aggro them, we hide behind this wall, and we just kill them all. 
So after he killed like Death Walkers, yeah, uh, Atari, Atari, Death Walkers, this Death Walker spirit will summon, but you cannot kill them. They are invincible, they cannot take damage. So you just let them despawn or something, because they will at some point. And that was the run. Uh, before people were running this in order to skin all of these uh, scale banes and whelps, but it's not that worth anymore. You know, there are many other farms that bring way more gold per hour. The green items are useless, only one noteworthy item, and that was like, I think this one, the Alabaster Plate Girdle, because uh, it has a market value of 1.7k. But I'm not going to sell it, I think I'll just enchant it on my main account. A couple of rune cloth, um, one lockbox, and many useless green items, plus some blue items from the bosses, which I will throw away right now. So I don't think it's worth you can do anything else with your time. But I have some good news too, so a tem the Temple of Atal Hakar is in the last row. So I have three more dungeons, and then I'm finished with the classic set dungeon of uh, 11 of Is It Worth. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Comment me in the section anything you want, and see you later.